Good afternoon, everybody. It is afternoon because it's just coming up for half past two. It's a Thursday um, and it's the 9th of June 2022. Um, we're in the workshop today, as you can possibly see. Uh, more stuff to do uh, on Just Jane. Um, it's It seems to be done with the work. It's coming thick and fast at the moment. Um, I've just done this. This is a uh, handbrake lever. Okay. Um, off just Jane, it's the pilot's handbrake and it's on the column and he as he squeezes, yeah, it's like a bike brake lever I suppose, you squeeze the brake and it puts the brakes on and according to according to um, where his feet are on the pedals I suppose, whether he's pushing port or starboard yeah, technical terms there, not left and right, port or starboard today, so whether he's turning port or starboard uh, it depends on uh, the differential brakes. This can also be locked on uh, as the handbrake as well. I think that's the way it works. Don't take it as gospel. There's guys down there who know more about this than me. I always just asked to repair this. And what it was, there's a steel pivot bush with a 2BA hole in it in the middle there. Uh, or 2BA 3 sixteenths if you want to be uh, exact because it's a 3 sixteenths ream that's gone through it. That was worn out. So I've rebushed that today, uh, turned up a new bush, put that in. So that's the first job of the day. Um, second job. Um, hopefully we'll get the second job done today because I, it's uh, my turn to cook tonight. So Keith Floyd will be in the kitchen later on. So what we're going to do, I've been asked to make up some Tommy bars for a uh, the pipe flowing tool we've got. I made up one set a week ago and um, they found another fair flaring toolkit that hasn't got any in so I've been asked to make them uh, some two more same dimensions as before and so you'll excuse me this is a mixture of imperial and metric but this is the the bit of paper I was handed yesterday so we've got uh, 6.5 mil diameter by four inches long and 7.2 mil diameter by six inches long and I'm going to make them out of stainless steel the steel I'm going to use is a piece of this. Um, this is one bit, and I've got, I've got another bit here uh, that I'm going to use as well. Okay. This, if you like, is upcycling uh, because these are, I think these are off printer. Um, uh, in printers as well as scanners, you've got nice, well machined stainless steel rod um, that is used um, for. Uh, some of it has the little rubber wheels for the paper feed. Uh, some of it is used for a carriage alignment. For when the when the um, scanner and the printer carriages move up and down, this is the kind of thing they use. Yeah. I never throw. Whenever we've had a printer or a scanner die, I've always gone in and robbed these out of it because it's normally about three or four of them in various lengths, and they are precision made. Yeah, it's lovely steel to work with. Uh, and this is uh, about 8 mil diameter, just slightly under, I think. Let me just grab the micrometer. It just happens to be here, and I'll be able to tell you exactly what it is. It is, according to the micrometer, 7.93 mil. So there you go. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we're going to use. Um, I've already got uh, the... You possibly can't see, or yeah, you might be able to. Let me just, let me just move you down a little. Um, I've got the collet chuck already in there because I needed that for doing a little bush. So the collet chuck is already in. But one of these needs to be six inches long. Now uh, let me get my ruler. I'll use my thin ruler. So that's six inches. Okay, so we need it that long. Now if you've ever tried to turn thin material down, uh, it's very difficult, even if you're holding it with a centre at the end, even if you wanted to do it that way, it still, it flexes in the middle, it flexes. As you're pushing the tool in, the material wants to ride over the tool. Yeah, uh, let me find a big piece of material, there we go. Uh, this, this disc will do. Right, if I've got a tool in there, and the disc is rotating towards the tool, yeah, the tool will want to ride over or that the, the metal will want to ride over the tool 
uh, or push the tool down which is where you, sometimes you get your chattering from yeah it'll want to it'll want to especially with thin material it will want to ride over the tool and uh, not only that you're going to be pushing into the tool and the material's thin so it'll want to move out of the way so we've got to support it uh, and the way we're going to do that is by what they call a traveling steady and this is a traveling steady um, it's a bit like a fixed steady but we haven't got an arm here so what we're going to do is your material sits if you like sit this is too big let me find a smaller piece your material is going to sit if you like let me get it so that you can see it in there yeah this is it's not set up for this but you can get the basic principle and so it's going to stop the material going up and it's got to stop going to stop the material going back uh, and this fits to the cross slide um, so we'll put it on now and you can see how it fits and how i've set it up the tool we're going to use uh, once again when i find it okay is this little cut this little brace carbide it's a nice little tool gives a really good finish on stainless steel so i shall just touch that up on the wheel because so I've been using it for the past couple of hours, um, and it just needs a it just needs a quick uh, a quick whiz on the diamond wheel just to we just get it perky again. So we'll use that as well. So I'll get that all set up, and without further ado, we'll get on with it. See you in a minute. So here we are then. Uh, we've got steady rest. It's all set up. Uh, I'll just fire this up. Yeah. Um, I've got. Put um, a little bit of oil on here. Yeah. Once that gets going, that should be all right. Um, just to lubricate the tip. So this will stop, hopefully, any chatter. I've already faced the tool off. Um, so let's uh, we'll run it down. Uh, we don't need to because we need to come down to 7.2 on this one. So six inches is about there, uh, and we're going to overrun slightly because of the steady rest. Um, because we're going to have to readjust that after each pass. So we'll let this get on, and um, it looks like it's doing the business, isn't it? We're not taking much off by the looks of it, maybe about a thou. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I'll wait till it's run down, and then we'll be back. Well, we've reached the end um, so our six inches is just about here we've overreached because because of, of this in the way um, so okay so we've got a little bit of waste there but I'm not overly worried this was free material um, so it's, if you like it's upcycling so we'll pop a micrometer on it now and we'll see what the micrometer says the micrometer if you can read that, is saying uh, 7.6, almost 7.65. Um, so we'll run that back and we'll have a little bit more off. Um, I mean, 7.2 isn't critical. Um, as you can imagine, you know, it's tummy bars, so it's plus or minus a bit. So we'll wind this back and we'll crack on a bit longer. Okay, who spotted my deliberate mistake then? Um, I didn't reset the, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't reset the guides, did I? So we'll do that now. Uh, just loosen that off and just run it in by feel. We haven't taken much off, so it won't take much to, uh, to bring it in. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay. That sounds good. So I'll pop some oil on there. And we'll run it all back and, uh, then we'll uh, run it down again right here we go again um, I've cut the, uh, the speed down because I noticed that we were because uh, it's only a fine tool that um, although we're, we're not taking much off um, it's enough just to stress the tip a little so so I've given it a resharpen and uh, we should be it should be a bit better now so what we were 7.65 before um, so we'll just take this path this path down just to uh, clean off from um, some of the some of the tool marks and I noticed we chipped the tool so 
So we'll run this one down, and then when we get back to the end, we'll uh, we'll mark it up again and we'll see where we are. Right, we've finished that run. Um, so what we'll do now, and I have readjusted the, the supports this time, so, uh, so it shouldn't be too embarrassing. So let's have a look. Everything's in the way now, isn't it? Oh, aircraft taking off at Coningsby. That's what that noise is. Right, so where are we now? Okay. We are seven according to that um so i've taken off a little bit more than i wanted to but i don't think 0.2 of a millimeter is going to make much difference as it's a tommy bar and it's just going through um, a hole um, so we're the same at that end i want to save at that end so we're not cut a taper which is good right so all i'm going to do now i'm going to measure off slightly over six inches because we're going to have to face these ends off um, and we'll do that in a minute so yes it is slightly undersized but only by 0.2 of a millimeter uh, and 0.2 of a millimeter is not a lot in the great scheme of things um, like i say the tolerances on this uh, were, were were fairly wide um, i mean and it was measured with a guessing stick so um, it could be it could be anything it could be six six point eight or it could be seven point four with a guessing stick you never know um we're finished now they cut down the size i've just finished facing them off uh, that's a little four inch one um this one because it's gone into a blind hole uh needs to have a flat bottom and all i've done is just chamfer the chamfer the edges just to get the rough edge off that one's finished but this tommy bar um because it's going um, into a handle, it's going to be the handle, I suppose. Um, it needs a nice radius on it. Now, two ways we could do that. I could either use one of my radiusing tools, uh, which is all right on the thick stuff, but uh, I find it not so good on the little stuff. Or we can use a file and a bit of emery paper. So, what I'm going to be doing... Uh, make sure you guys can see is i'm going to be coming in and i'm going to be profiling like that you'll notice i'm holding it in my left hand the right hand is the one that's going to be doing all the controlling and then if it gets caught it's coming out past me that way yeah um, i'm not reaching over the chuck like i've seen some people do and i do believe a few years ago i did a video about all this but anyway let's just crack on shall we <laughs> or something just to uh, just on the edge of it just to take any aggressive marks off it's not too bad now with scotch bright notice I'm doing all this with my right hand my left hand is not reaching over the chuck at all because I like my left hand it's part of me. I've had it for many years and I'd like to keep it in one piece. Mm. There we go, we'll just whip this out and then you can have a then you can have a closer inspection. He's still with me, you can still see what's going on, can't you? the uh, that's the unsharpened end or the the untreated end 
and there's the radio stand yeah um, a nice radio so then it'll just slip in slip in and out the hole quite nicely um, I suppose I should add a, a, a giggity to that shouldn't I seeing as that seems to be uh, <laughs> if you uh, if you watch the show you'll know what I'm about anyway we'll do the other side now uh, I don't think you want to see me do that so I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll stop this and um, I'll uh, I'll get back to you when it's all finished Oh, one, two, three. Are we there? Right, so, what have we achieved today? Well, we've achieved the bush on that. And we've achieved these two Tommy bars, which isn't bad. Uh, that's taken me, what, three hours to do, I suppose, this little lot. Um, it wouldn't have taken so long if I'd have been um, <clears throat> videoing it, funny enough. So, they're done. Uh, I'll be taking those in Monday. I might... I might pop in the Heritage Centre Saturday if I'll take them in then. Um, but otherwise, I'll be going in again Monday. Um, um, I might go in Saturday to do a bit of filming there with a new piece of kit I'm playing with. Well, it's, it's a new old piece of kit. But my next job in here, um, I know I've got a job to do on the lathe because I've got uh, one of the, um, in the back gears, one of the bearings is, is going. Um, so I've got to do that. That's somewhat, that's not overly important. But what I've got to do is, when I dig out all the bits, is one of the things I'm working on now, I proved the concept yesterday, oh pardon me, proved the concept yesterday uh, on my, uh, I'll go into more details when I film it, um, but the a lot of the aircraft instruments, a lot of the gyros are run off suction. A lot of people think they're compressed air. No, they suck. Um, and so to control the amount of suck, there's a, a suction control valve, uh, which is one of these. Now, I want to use this on my rig, um, but my rig uses that size hose, and we've got that size of hull. So I've got to, uh, I've got to make an adapter down. Um, so I've got to make one for each end. So that's the next thing. And then not only can I test the aircraft instruments, uh, I can also test the suction valves as well because it does have a, a calibrated gauge on it. Calibrated in inches of mercury for all you old boys out there. Uh, it does have bar on there, but okay, one bar is atmospheric. So we're talking about minus bar. I think minus 0.2 of a bar is what I'm looking at most of the time, which is about five inches of mercury. Um, uh, you can always, uh, <coughs> if I've lost you there, uh, you can always, uh, just Google it. Uh, or somebody might have something interesting on YouTube. So that's the that's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make it out of aluminium. I've got a nice bit of aluminium billet here uh, that I shall knurl and machine and drill and fiddle about with. And that'll be the next bit anyway. So, from here in the workshop, on a quite a pleasant day, it's nice and warm, I've got all the doors open. Um, it's what's I'm looking at my clock now. It's 20 past four, so it's time I had to clean up because I have a feeling it's beer o'clock. Um, and I'm sure there's a cold one in the fridge with my name on it. Maybe more than one, maybe two, three, maybe I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, because I'm cooking tonight, um, so um, so I'm going to get cleaned up and make sure that uh, everything's ready for about half past six so that'll take me a little while um, I've got to put everything away in the garage as well so so anyway um, I'm waffling again you possibly noticed I tend to do a lot of that um, so I'll see you guys next time take it easy yeah do all the good bits for me you know uh, I know a lot of you commented on my last video you seem to quite enjoy it um, and uh, I'm working on different things to do uh, you know like in the workshop here and the new stuff down the Heritage Centre that I'm going to be looking at soon. Um, so hopefully uh, we might have some more interesting stuff coming up in a week or so. So without further ado, <coughs> it's goodbye from me and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe, like, ring the bell, yeah, do all the good stuff. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye for now.